Good morning, everyone. This is Card Stamping with Clara. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I appreciate you uh, stopping in to see what I've got this week. A um, couple of little things I want to take care of. Uh, first of all, if you would, push that subscribe button. That would really help. And um, secondly, I have a host code that's still good for a few more days, and then I will change it for June. So if you spend less than uh, $150, please use that um, host code, and that's before shipping and handling. But if you spend up to $150, don't use it, so you can take the benefit of getting some free merchandise from Stampin' Up! Uh, I want to take a second to show you the brand new catalog that's coming out. Uh, it's got all kinds of nice things. It's called Creativity is Calling. And uh, the products in this catalog are going to be um, available on June 4th uh, to the public. You've already seen that demonstrators get a little bit of a jump on you folks so we can start to put things together. Uh, so you can see, but, you know, last week we did this Magnolia uh, set and it, it really uh, is a nice set. And um, let's see what's on the back. It's just got some um, different things as far as the people that run uh, Stampin' Up! and what have you. But anyway, there's lots of good stuff in this catalog. And if you'd like to have one, um, just contact me. Leave me a comment or uh, what have you and request one and I'll get one out to you. Um the other thing I wanted to mention before we get started, because I'm, I'm not sure that everybody's getting the information, is the uh, Paper Pumpkin Giveaway is going to be June 1st. And there's a few more days that you have an opportunity to leave a comment. And the way that you leave a comment to get a chance to win is go to my website, which is Card Stampin' with Clara, click on Clara's blog, and then down at the bottom of the last blog, you can leave a comment. So, or you can leave a comment on any blog for that matter. But just uh, tell me what you like, what you don't like, what have you. And I will put your name in a drawing. Um, the reason I'm concerned that people are not getting the message and I want to give it to you the first thing this morning is because I have not had a single person leave a comment. So I promise you that your odds of winning are very, very good. So um, leave me a comment and uh, maybe you'll win this thing. Uh, otherwise, if if nobody leaves a comment and I've checked and checked, uh, I guess this will just be the end of it because we're not going to go on any farther. Okay. Now, all that said, we're going to get on with uh, the card making for this week. And this is the card that we're gonna be making today. I'm uh, making a sympathy card. It's uh, called Heartfelt Sympathy here on the outside. And then it says, um, know that love, prayers, and caring surrounds you today. Then I put a little leaf, a little flower in the middle, and you can see what it looks like. So this is the card we're gonna be making. And I'll set it right here. And then I'm gonna show you some more options for this particular set. And this is the set. I've used more than one thing this week. And, um, whoops, I dropped one. I'm sorry. This is the basic stamp set that I've used. It's called Free as a Bird. And um, it says, we're the best of friends. Hello, the world needs more of you. Thanks for being you. Thank you. Your friendship means the world to me. So you can see the different images there, and you will be able to see them in the cards, too, um, as we go through them and what I've used for this week. So along with that, um, you can purchase this as a bundle. I need to, to get a magnet or something. This is called um, a nest stitched nested um, framelits, I believe it's what, or dies. They just call them dies now. Okay. But um, I really do like this set. I've got a couple of things here in my arms I probably shouldn't have picked up to start with. But um, so I, but you can, you can see I had these all laid out nice and flat so that you could see how many there are. But they seem to have gotten jumbled up. Like I said, I need a magnet to hold them. But anyway, 
there's all different kinds of sizes and you can use these for all kinds of things. So I'm going to lay these over and get them out of the way here, but they are very useful. Then I used another set for this particular card. You don't have to. I mean, I just use this because it works for me on this particular card. I use the heartfelt from this well said um, stamping, cling stamp set. And it's got all kinds of different uh, words that you can combine with sentiments that, you know, coordinate them any way you want to. And I also used a framelit die out of this set. Um, I used the sympathy. But there's lots of different words in this one, too. There's um, anniversary, I believe, birth. I know there's happy birthday, friend, miss you, you know, all kinds of things. Then you've got little sprigs that you can um, use, like for greenery and um, little flowers. There's a little bird. There's an and um, die and a butterfly and what have you. So there's lots of good things in this set, too. And then the last set I used, or the last thing I used, was this stitched lace die. And it just, it cuts out a whole page of this pretty uh, lacy looking uh, design. So I really like this one too. And uh, these are new. This one's new. The well-written or the well-said is not. But um, they're all available and, and will be available as of June 6th. The well written, the well said is already available. But um, anyway, this is what, what else I came up with. This is one that I used the Miss You on. I stamped the little bird. I used um, some blends to color the little bird. And I used, I'm focusing in on the Bird Ballad DSP or the Designer Series paper this week. Um, that's most of what I have used. And um, I'm using the nested um, die in this particular case. And on the inside, it says far apart, but close at heart, stamped a little flower down in the corner. So that was a one usage. Then this is another one that I used, another stamp I used out of that set, which are all the little birds on this little twig, um, which I thought was really cute too. And I said, hello. This is more paper from that Bird Ballad set. And on this it says, your friendship means the world to me. So that's, that's from the set. This is, <clears throat> this is from, the wording is from the Well Said set. Uh, and die, the die and stamp set. So happy birthday. And in this one I used uh, the nested uh, die again. I picked, I picked out a piece of this paper that I could put the die in between, I mean the label in between, excuse me, and put a little bird at the top and a little bird at the bottom. And then this is that greenery that I was telling you about. We've got a little striped um, piece of paper that is uh, the So Saffron color. And then it says, hope your day brings what it should, happiness, health, and everything good. So there's a birthday card. This one is a little bit similar to that one. Um, I did use another piece of that paper. I thought the little birds were cute. And um, this one just says hello. So, and it doesn't have the stripe. So it's a little bit different, but not a lot. And it says, you, the world needs more of you. So um, that sentiment is from the, the uh, um, bird, the free as a bird said, I'm sorry. This one, I cut a piece of DSP out in a circle, um, which is another design. You don't see a lot of it here, but it's real pretty. And um, then I took the congratulations from the Well Said set and stamped it. And this is where I used a piece of that pretty lace uh, design. Um, it just cuts out the prettiest uh, piece to accent your cards with. I only used part of a sheet here, whereas I used a whole sheet on the, the card I'm going to show you today. 
I also used an embossing folder and put some little dots underneath just to add a little bit more um, character to it and what have you. On the inside, it says, may the rest of your lives be the best of your lives. And this is a little cut out from that well said uh, die set. So I, I, I really kind of like that too. And I put it over on this side so you have a little room to write. So that's a, you could use for a wedding card. This is a thank you card. Um, this little bird I stamped and colored with the blends again. And this striped is one of the pieces from the Bird Ballad designer series paper. And I stamped some little flowers and I did fussy cut these little flowers out. It didn't take too long, but I just thought that added a little bit more to the front of this card. It says, thanks for being you. The world needs more of you. And there's a little flower at the bottom on this one too. So, and this last one, I used a sheet of the, uh, the white that I used the um, uh, stitch lace die to cut out. And this one is different than the other ones in that you have an edging that you can cut this off this part apart from that die and it, and it leaves a real pretty edge. So I put some of the Mossy Meta Green underneath this one so it could kind of shine through. And this is a thank you and another cutout from a piece of the designer series paper. And your friendship means the world to me. So that's what we've got from this one. And I'm gonna lay the card down here that we're making and get we'll get to it here show you what I have already prepared just to make it go a little bit faster. Move that over just a little bit. The first thing you need is this um, blueberry, blueberry bushel color. You need a sheet that is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches scored at four and a quarter inches. That's your base card. Um, you will need two sheets of the thick whisper white. Um, this one is cut to uh, four inches by five and a quarter inches. And what I did is I just, um, it cuts it almost that, but if, it, if it's off just a tiny little bit when you, um, when it goes through the die, you can trim it up a little bit. And that's what I did with this one. And this one, this one is um, three and three quarters by five. And you will find all of these measurements on my website. If you will go to Card Stamping with Clara, um, this will be the featured card for this week. And click on just below it, and it will take you to all the information. It's print. You can print it out. It'll um, give you all the measurements, and, the, and then it will give you instructions as to how to put it together down below it, um, as well as you can see anything that you might need to purchase. So this one um, also has, I use this die, which is, like I said, it's very versatile. I really like it. And I use the die to cut out Sympathy. I used the stamp from the well said to hmm clara keeps dropping and i'm sorry i just stamped heartfelt and cut out around it the little bird i stamped colored with the dark blueberry bushel blends and i used some bronze um when i stamped this little bird i will say this I was careful just to stamp it in the blueberry bushel and not stamp the legs and the feet and this little bit of, of uh, dirt below it. So uh, once I got the, the blue stamped, I took um, my, basically I took my water marker and just rubbed across the feet like with the uh, early espresso, or you could use the soft suede, or anything that's brown would do fine for this. I also went around the eye with a black 
um, water color marker. And the reason I did that, it makes the eye stand out a little bit more. And um, if you can leave a little white around the eye, it also stands out more. So, you know, that's just my personal preference. Then we have a little flower that we're going to use on the inside. Okay, let's go ahead and after all this is stamped and colored and what have you to put it together, I'm going to go ahead and just glue these pieces, the heartfelt sympathy, onto this label first. I'm going to use my little reverse tweezers. Anytime you have a cutout like this, a little die that's words, if you, you can either use like the Sissix adhesive sheets on the back, which I did on one of them. And I didn't on this one, but um, you can you can put glue or, or use that adhesive sheet either way. You just have to be a little bit more careful when you're, you know, not to get too much glue. And just put a little dot here and a little dot there and it'll stay. but it's just so much easier to have these reverse tweezers. And like I said before, you can't get them at Stampin' Up, but you can get them at Amazon. So I, I'm gonna say it's okay to tell you where to get this since there's no competition with um, Stampin' Up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up the very best I can and then drop it down on this. And I'm gonna use the corners of the uh, label to kind of line up the top of those letters. And this is a little tricky, but you you just have to m just barely move it and it, it'll move okay. But um, you just do your best to get it straight as your, straight as you can. Don't like to move it much because you get a little glue if you do and then you have to get it off. Um, okay, I'm not gonna, I believe that'll be okay. All right. I put the sympathy on first because I think that it's important to get it because it's the bigger piece to get it placed properly to start with. And then I can put this little heartfelt sentiment above it. I'm just using the Tombow Mono or Multipurpose Glue, I think they call it. And then you can just place this accordingly. Okay. Well, it's moving. The wrong end is moving there. Okay, I believe it's straight. All right, now that's ready. Well, almost. Let's put the, let's go ahead and put the dimensionals on the back of it while we've got it out and working on it. The dimensionals lift, just gives it a little lift. And you can put as many as you think, or as few as you think are proper. You can actually glue this down if you want to, but I, I do think it helps a little bit to lift it up. It does take a few to get, to make sure that you um, have enough to, where it won't sag in the middle. You don't want that. So I'll put one in the middle, uh, one out there and one here, and I think that will be plenty. Should be anyway. Let's see, we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got ten of them. All right, I've got them on, but I'm not going to take off this part yet. I don't know why I took this old age, I guess. Blame it on the old age. <laughs> oh, mercy. All right, now we'll lay this aside, like I started to say a minute ago, and this is the little bird that's going to go with it here in a second. All right, let's work on the base a minute. 
You can actually work on the base first if you want to. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just make sure that when you put this on, it's really interesting. I noticed that when, when I use this lace dye, this surface is actually kind of slick. Little, a little bit shinier. I don't know. It compresses the paper or something. I'm not really sure what it does. But use that slick side and not the bumpy side. You'll be able to tell the difference of what I'm talking. It's not hard to tell. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it here and there. Just kind of bumping it along, you know, just squeezing out a tea tad here and there. It, um... You don't want it gushing through on the other side. So, I do try to make note that I get enough right around the edges over on the corners. Because you don't want those corners curling up. But other than that, you can kind of bump along and do pretty good. Okay. Let's put this on. And this is going to be a horizontal orientation. I will tell you this, once you get this one on, once you get this, this little lacy piece on, it does not slide as well as other paper when you're trying to line it up. It's a little bit, little bit more difficult. It's not awful, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to scare you. Well, it needs to go up just a little bit further. And that's what I'm saying. I just had to lift it up. You just can't slide it. It just, it says, nope, not going. Okay. I don't believe that's going to be all right. Doesn't that make a pretty piece for your, I mean, it makes your card look kind of fancy and, and uh, just so pretty. But I just love this lacy design. I think that uh, I have, Hooked on that. I'll put it that way. Now we'll put this piece on. This card is not hard to make. And I don't think that a lot of people have got a world of time to make really complicated cards. Uh, if, you're, if you have an occasion and you need to make one right quick, you want to be able to do something that's relatively easy. And, you know, there's other times that you just enjoy in the process and you want to see what you can do. And that's all right, too. I mean, I love to, to make really pretty things, but uh, you, you got to have a certain amount of practicality about it, too, uh, in regard to some things. You know, sympathy cards are something that either you got to make them ahead or you got to make them on the spur of the moment. So, all right. Make sure that when you let this thing down initially till you get it exactly where you want it, we'll just lay it on there real light like. Because if it gets stuck down good before <laughs> before you get it moved to where you want it, you're gonna have a real hard time moving it. So laying it down real, real easy helps. Okay, Mr. Bird, we're gonna put you on next. This did make a cute little bird. I, this is smaller than some I've seen, and yet it's big enough to be seen. So I, I like this little bird. So I'm going to put it right under the edge there, just a little bit. Kind of make sure that he's not cockeyed or she, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say. There you go. That's the front of it. And, uh, that's. I mean, it, it really doesn't take long to do that bird either. It, it's not bad at all. Now we're going to put this piece in, and to be perfectly honest, I want to tell you what I did. I decided, I realized that I had my sentiment over too far on one side. So, what you, what will be very helpful is if you can learn how to correct things that 
don't go exactly like you made for them to to start with. So I came back, I got the trio punch, which I forgot to mention to you. Let me reach over here and get it. I'm not near as organized as I had thought I was. This trio punch punches out this little design. It punches out a tea tiny little hole and then it will round your corners. And it's another one of those things that are very versatile and can add a special touch to your card. So I decided that I was gonna balance this card by putting a couple of these little, these little um, well, they look like half flowers to me. But just, to, just, it's amazing how much it just balanced the card just that little bit. And I think it looks fine. I've seen a lot of people use just, you know, one or two. You don't have to punch them in every corner. You can punch them in every corner, and sometimes I do, but not every time. So, I think it was probably a good thing that I didn't get it exactly where I wanted it to start with, because it added a special touch to it. Okay, let's see if I can get this, make sure that it's looking like it's supposed to. All right. Press that down, and I cut this little flower out, and I'm going to use one-dimensional. Um, I think what I'm going to do is use a part of a dimensional here. Probably don't need a great, great big one. <laughs> Do you see that little thing flip over there? There, maybe. All right. Put that on the back. All right, there we go. And after I stamped this little greenery, I thought that that little flower would add a special touch. So you use a little dimensional and just pop it up and it adds a little something to the inside of your card. So there you go. Not bad at all um, to get it put together and what have you. Um, there's only one thing that I would suggest that I'll bring to your attention in regard to this lace die. And what I suggest is run this through your big shot, whatever you've got for a die cutter. As you know, Stampin' Up! does not have a die cutter right now. I have a little electric model that I'm using and I love it to be honest. Anyway, when you put your paper on it and you run it through your die a couple of times, before you peel that thing off, take a little brush and just brush like that. And get over a trash can because there's a world of little pieces, but just let them fall into the trash can and it, and it won't be a problem. But if you, if you just leave that paper attached and do this across the metal part, They'll come right out, and you won't have any problems at all. Um, so I, that's just the tip for for today. So there, are, there's the card. Um, I hope you have had a good week this week. Hope you have a good week coming. So that's what I've got for you this week. I'll be back again next week to um, give you something new out of the catalog, and. Um, Hopefully, you will find something that you especially like. Bear in mind, any time that you're watching a, a video, I'm just giving you food for thought. You make your cards the way you want them. They're your cards. You color them like you want them. You use some of the things you've got. You don't have to do exactly like I've done. Just, you know, pick out what what works for you. Uh, like I said, it's it's a personal thing. It's a tiny little work of art. And um, it needs to be something that you enjoy and, and are proud of. So thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful week, like I said. The good Lord bless you and keep you. And I will see you again in a week. Bye-bye.